Okay, I'm in the noisy food court, having a cup of coffee, and I'm here testing the Yervan Wave Pro's micro pickup. This is the Yervan Wave Pro's micro pickup in 3, 2, and 1. And yes, this is the Yervan Wave Pro's micro pickup. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. How do I sound? Let me know if you can't. Guys, today we're going to look at the Earfun Wave Pro. Now, this seems to be tremendous value for money. That's because for the price of less than $80, it's got most bases covered in terms of specs. Without noise cancelling, it's got up to 80 hours of battery and with noise cancelling up to 55 hours, which is quite above the industry average. It's high res certified with support for LDAC codec streaming. Although when in LDAC mode, it's not possible to use this one other important feature that this has, and that is multipoint pairing. That's because when using multipoint, it falls back into the regular AAC codec. For those of you who don't know, multipoint pairing allows you to connect up to two devices at the same time to these headphones and switch between them for music and phone calls. It's quite a convenient feature because you could be connected to your PC and your phone at the same time and switch between them using the headphones. And you turn multipoint pairing on by using the Wave Pro's companion app called the Earfun app. All the settings can be performed here, including sound quality settings with an extensive range of EQ presets or a graphic EQ. Now, although the app doesn't allow you to fine tune the level of noise cancelling, it does give you a choice of how strong you want noise cancelling to be, including a wind noise reduction mode which blocks the flapping sound of wind while at the same time allowing a bit more noise in compared to full noise cancelling. Now, this is a pretty awesome feature but not as awesome as this other setting which truly is unique among headphones. I've tested so many noise cancelling headphones and there's never been one that allows you to really customize most of its control buttons. Earfun has simplified the controls by limiting the number of buttons and putting all the buttons on the right ear cup. But if you want, you can decide for yourself what these buttons do with either short press or long press gestures. You can even make the volume buttons do other things aside from volume like music controls or noise cancelling toggles. This makes the UI of the Wave Pro probably the most customizable in a pair of headphones that I've ever seen. Now, in terms of build quality, not gonna lie, it still feels a bit like they cheaped out on the quality of plastic used in the Wave Pro's construction. It feels a bit brittle, but under normal usage, the headband does feel pretty sturdy. Even when it's being abused the same way I abused other headphones. Yep. I'm a headphones abuser. But what about its sound, noise cancelling, and microphone pickup? Can it really be that good for the price? Anyway, check in the link below for the latest prices in case it's on promo. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe at the end for more. In the following tests, we're going to benchmark the Wave Pros to popular budget headphones like the Soundpeats Space, which was released about the same time as the Wave Pros, and the Soundcore Space Q45 headphones, which is quite a crowd favorite in the budget range. Right now, we're going to compare their microphone quality in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe noise and some wind noise from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Earphone Wave Pro. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundpeats Space headphones. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundcore Space Q45 headphones. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Earphone Wave Pro. The quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place with, with noise using the Soundpeats Space headphones. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Soundcore Space Q45 headphones.
Its microphone quality is pretty great in both quiet and noisy conditions, when it was able to cut noise better than the sound peaks and amplify my voice louder than the sound core, which is important if you want to be heard by the caller on the other end of the line, especially when you're making that phone call in a noisy place. In terms of active noise cancelling, the Wave Pros are one of the more effective noise cancellers in the budget range. It is a bit more effective than the Soundcore Space Q45, which is awesome, and is definitely more effective than the Soundpeed Space at cancelling low frequency rumble and background chatter. And this is comparing them under the same noisy conditions. Listen to the samples. Noise cancelling. Now, if you want to compare their call quality and active noise cancelling to headphones from other brands, become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare headphones A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Hundreds of people have joined up, especially people who can't simply visit a store anytime to compare headphones. They are saving so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these products remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency, to be honest, this is the worst part about the Irfan Wave Pro. There's definitely not as much pass-through as most competing models, so it sounds like there's far more occlusion. It also doesn't pass through my own voice, so conversations can sound very unnatural. So even with transparency, you might still have to lift up an ear cup to have short conversations or to be more aware of your surroundings. In terms of sound quality, I would describe its sound as thick and full, especially in the mid-range. Vocals sound crisp and rich in gravity, and its sound staging leans a bit more compact rather than an open and spacious sound stage. Now, although its bass is impactful and punchy, with quite a lot of detail, frequency sweeps show that it's actually not the most bass-heavy budget cans. It's not as bass-heavy as the Soundpeed Space, for sure. And compared to the Soundcore Space Q45, it's got a little less bass in the sub-bass region. But this also means that it's got a less boomy sound signature, and some people who prioritize the clarity of mid-range frequencies do prefer that. Its track separation can be described as marginally cleaner than average, so there is very little cross-bleeding when listening to faster, more intensive music like Deep House or Synth Wave. Compared to the Soundcore Space Q45, since the Q45's frequency response is more V-shaped than usual, its sub-bass feels heavier and details in the soundstage feels brighter, but overall, the Wave Pros sound pretty good to me, and they're pretty genre-blind, giving me plenty of enjoyment listening to different types of music and watching videos. Listen to the samples. Money world. If you're interested, you can also compare their sound samples to other headphones on loudandwireless.com slash sound samples. The reason why I dig the Wave Pro is that it gets most of the basics right. It sounds good, 
powerful noise cancelling for the price, high res certified, and very customizable in terms of sound and the controls. Something you don't get with the most wireless headphones, even the more expensive ones, to be honest. It's also worth mentioning that these are quite comfortable to wear. The clamping pressure is not too tight, the cushions feel soft and plush, and though the ear cups are quite shallow, they're also wide enough to fit around most ears, even big bunny ears like mine. Another reason I prefer the Wave Pro over the Soundpiece Space is the controls being more responsive, its noise cancelling is better, and the fact that it supports streaming over LDAC which offers much better transmission on Android devices for high-res lossless files. Of course, there are reasons to choose the Soundpiece Space over the Wave Pros. For example, its superior battery life, superior transparency mode, and bass heads will definitely prefer its heavier bass. Now, to be honest, the Wave Pro would have been more attractive if it did support LDAC codec streaming with multipoint pairing. But at this price, I can't really complain too much, it's already nailing the basics, well, most of them, except for the transparency. Apart from that, I've got no problems recommending the Wave Pro if you're in the market for some compelling noise cancellers in the budget range. In terms of value proposition, I would even go so far as to say that the Wave Pros can compete with the more expensive Soundcore Space Q45. Now, those do go on promo, but even on promo, they're not as cheap as the Wave Pros. So the Wave Pros are looking like very good value for money. Now, the big advantages the sound cores do have over the Wave Pro is Hear ID, which recommends an EQ preset for you based on the sensitivity of your hearing. Their ear cups are even more roomy and they're excellent transparency mode compared to the not so great one of the Wave Pro. Now, I also think that the sound cores sound more exciting compared to the Wave Pro, but otherwise, the Wave Pro is still quite competitive in terms of performance and features, since you can customize its controls and you can't do it on the sound cores. So, those are my thoughts of the Wave Pro compared to the Soundpiece Space and the Sound Core Space Q45. If you want to see more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. I also post frequency response charts on X, so do follow me there and click here for my take on the battle of the spaces, if you catch my drift.